How has your love for travel and culture impacted your professional perspective? Well, I think from the, for, I like to move around. <laughs> I, and, and I think that moving around and not staying about <laughs> and not staying in, and not staying in the same place is really good for you know creativity and like seeing things afresh and seeing things anew. But I also think that going to different cultures and and this might sound really cliche because I probably think this is why most people travel. But you know it makes gives you a perspective on your culture. It makes you realize that you know your biases or the things that you the assumptions that you have about the way to be right. always get shaken up and i think it makes you deeper in that way and 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 you know book, it, it, going to a foreign country to me and spending you know 3 days there or a week there is sort of the equivalent of reading a novel or a really good piece of you know journalism or a really good book what have you felt like since the book's release from the audience, you know, from the feedback? I've gotten a lot of thank you notes. Yeah? Yeah, I've gotten a lot of, this is my story, you really made me feel better, thank you for showing me that there were options. Um, and I don't know, it's been a very freeing experience for me because I suddenly realized that, you know, I've been sending this message out that says women don't have to follow this social prescription or this perceived social prescription. Mm -hmm. And so, you don't have to follow the social prescription. You can, you know, you don't have to be a certain kind of woman to be accepted in life. society. Exactly, live your life. Um, I want to um, smash stereotypes, and uh, and 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 I think, you know, good books change culture, and I'm that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, you know, trying to like change the attitudes in, in culture, and yeah. I think that there's a learned desperation that women are taught because we're supposed to be in a certain place at a certain age or you're more accepted so or you're 20, 20, 21 you're here 25 you're, you're here, here 30 here it just it goes all the way through to to 80 right 85 and and I think you're supposed to you know um, the graduate house? get the you know get the husband get the house have the 2.2 kids That's and right. I know a lot of people that have achieved those things and then they go home into that house and that relationship is completely, you know, dysfunctional and miserable. And there are a lot of people that achieve those things and they're like, well, what's left? And then they want to leave because they want something more. And right. I just think that the idea of having to follow a prescription because you feel like you should be something that society is telling you to be is right. just hurting particular, I mean, it's hurting women and it's also hurting men to some extent because you know there there are stereotypes